Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to today's video. We're checking out a zombie mod. I love these zombie mods. We've done a lot of them and I'm pretty sure we've covered a zombie mod at this location before. But we got a new one, boys. This one is made by Craze Mez. And uh, let's take a look at it, boys. Let's have a little bit of explore. I'm looking forward to it. I always like zombie uh, map mods. They're great and the zombie theme is fantastic. So let's head inside and have a little look around. So I'm liking this, whatever this is already. Like this ambulance crashed over here, kind of like abandoned and destroyed. You can see the engines on fire. All the doors are open. They kind of like just crashed, you know what I mean? Lost control or abandoned it or something. Looks like the military here has got some heavy weapons, as you can see, they have one of these bad boys, that's pretty goddamn awesome, looks like they got loads of ammunition for it. If any of the zombies are coming, they're gonna get wrecked by this thing, so they're pretty heavily armored here. There's a couple of zombies here that looks like have been KO'd, RKO'd out of nowhere, they kind of like is frozen, I don't know what's going on there, but we'll ignore that. Looks like one of these barracks has been pretty badly damaged. They've kind of like just left it outside. Or maybe it's overheated or the engine's completely messed up. As you can see, it's on fire or smoking. And there's a little van here as well. But the main base is inside the hotel area down here. The little kind of a uh, space. So we're going to go through here. Uh, they, they, they know we have arrived. We're zombie free. We're not infected. So we're just going to go through it, guys. Please don't shoot me. There's a lot of security here. A lot of guards here. Pretty heavily guarded, as you can see. A bunch of weapons, which is nice. So here is the base, I guess. Is oh, oh. Well, that's a little awkward. That's the first. Hmm. You wearing the same shitty green shoes? Oh, well, that's real awkward. <laughs> Ignoring the absolute clone of a Michael here. Uh, this is uh, the base. Isn't isn't very large, but let's have a little look around. So they do have a couple of food here, vans. They have uh, actually one food van here. I guess it's better than nothing, right? What the fuck are you doing? You, you what? I didn't know you guys got a magician here as well. What the hell? So they got a food van, which is at least something. You know, they can cook food on it. They can. It's. I guess a a, a taco van would be a really good thing in a zombie outbreak, right? Because you could use like the um, as long as you got a propane gas tank, you could use the um, stuff to make food, which is a great idea, and you can move it as well, so definitely a taco van would be really good in a zombie outbreak, so that's probably what they're using to feed old people here, a couple of beds here, they don't really have anything fancy, I guess a couple of these hotel rooms and beds outside here for people to sleep, Be I, you know what, better than being bitten by a zombie, I suppose, right, but they have a few hotel rooms, they at least got a couple of them, so people can kind of hide in there and sleep, Nothing too much up here. You can see there's a couple of guards here just chilling. It isn't a very heavily guarded base. They have maybe at least like 20 or so guards here. Uh, or military, so to say. But if I was a survivalist, uh, I, I would probably come here. At least they'll try to keep you safe, right? They've got another barracks inside here. So, you know, transport vehicle. They can transport some stuff. And a jeep here. Looks like maybe this guy might be in charge of stuff. Or he's just like a jespers. He might be like the security guard or something. I don't know. He looks like just kind of standing there. So this side looks like more like the military side. That one's the civilian. This one's the military side. You can see there's a couple of water tanks here. That doesn't really look that much. So they're running maybe low on water. So here's like the military area here. There's a guy working out trying to get in good shape. You know, make sure he's in top condition for the zombies. And down here is the military supplies. They don't really have too much. They have a couple of uh, ammunition boxes. You can see here weapons and ammo, explosives and stuff. So they... they are pretty low on ammo if this is all they have i mean they would be able to do a couple of stuff but i got itchy ear here so ignore this i mean they would be able to defend i think for a little while but they would definitely run out of resources so they need to be pretty careful with ammo over here looks like this is the guy maybe in charge the general down here he looks like uh, he's got a little bit of a cctv station here so you can see what the fuck is going on which is smart because obviously that you want to know if zombies are near or anything like that but i wonder how they how are they doing this about like electricity and stuff? Maybe they have like, you know, kind of solar panels or something. And then upstairs here, nothing too much as well. A couple of guards here just chilling. There's a couple of guards here. And at the end of the thing there, they have tanks here as well. Like what? That escalated quickly. On the roof here, I'm surprised that, well, I guess these solar panels is probably how they get energy, electricity, but there isn't that many guards up here, which is surprising. There's, there's one down here and one on this side, but that's it. I thought there'd be like a little bit of a, some kind of little village or something on the roof, but there wasn't. And then in the back of this alleyway here, right next to the hotels, they have two tanks here. Like, what? But you could just get to them. They're not like 
they're not like really secure or anything, right? You, look, you could just you could just freaking go through this alleyway, right? You go down this street, we're in the middle of the street, and then you just go down here and you're at the tanks. So if you're a zombie, it's pretty fucking easy to get to them. You get to the tanks here, right? There's a person here just smoking cigarette. And then look, all you have to do is just freaking walk over here, jump a little bit, and you're in the compound. So the security here, or the guards, or the base, whatever you call it, ain't that bloody good. Anyway, though, it's pretty decent. I do like these type of map mods, so I'd love to see some more, guys. Let me know what you think. If you did enjoy the video, guys, make sure you leave a like, click, share, all the stuff, does that much, I grow. Appreciate it, love and support, I really do. So, let's get rid of this bad boy and see what disappears. Try and get, like, a nice, uh, thumbnail here, but I don't really know which, which way is the best one. I guess that's pretty decent there. Or maybe the one up front, like these. Or maybe the one outside here. Ah, that's the that's the difficult thing to get the nicest thumbnails. You know what I mean? Get the nicest thumbnails for the zombie base is the hardest part. Anyway, though, uh, I guess we're just gonna get rid of this bad boy and see what the fuck disappears. So we're gonna zoom out like this. Pretty much see most of it. One, two, three, and boom! Uh, there she goes. Very very nice. Very very fancy. I'll see you next video, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Make sure you leave a like. Thank you for joining. Bye.